So if you are searching for the best settings to export your videos from Final Cut Pro to YouTube is what we are going to do on this video. But not just talking about the settings, but why you should do it. Should I export in 180p? Should I use a master file? I'm going to explain you everything and I'm going to tell you my insights because since I've done this, the views, they grow like a lot. So in the last three months, basically they grow 55%. So definitely stay tuned until the end of the video because I think it's going to be quite interesting for you. So now that I have the Final Cut Pro open in one of the videos that I've done recently for you guys, if I press in project here on the side is going to open this window. If this is not open, just press here on the corner it is going to appear. And like you can see, I have here saying one, uh, 1920, so this is not in 4K. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change to 4K. And I'll explain why you should do, even if you are not filming in 4K. And that's the case of all my videos. I shoot with my phone in 180p, but we'll come back to that in the end of the video. When we talk about the frames per second, it's completely up to you, but you have to define this when you start your project. Otherwise, it will not allow you to change natively. That is another way to do it, but it's more complicated, so definitely choose well. But in my case, I always use 23.98 because I think everything looks more cinematic. When you finish this, and obviously when you finish the project, you are going to come here on the file, share, and you are going to choose master file. You have other options and even you can see here saying YouTube, but you are not going to choose the one that it says YouTube. You are going to choose the one that says master file. Why? Because this is going to get the best resolution as possible. And when you press here, and this is an extra tip that is really important for SEO, you are going to use the same title, the same description, and all the tags that you use on this specific file, you are going to export with all that information in. So that is essential that you do. When you press here in settings, the first time that you open this is going to say, Apple ProRes 4 to 2. And like you can see that I just changed the, the file, it's saying 15.39 gigabytes. And you can see obviously the resolution, so obviously always double check if you have in 4K after you press here and you change for H.264. And you can see that it dropped from 15 gigabytes to 1.8 gigabytes, so much, much less. But now maybe you are asking to yourself why I'm going to export in H.264 if the file is so much smaller than the other one. What happens is when you export to YouTube, YouTube is going to basically compress your video the maximum that they can. So when smaller is the file that you send, the better. But now you are thinking, if I should send the smaller video as possible, why I'm sending in 4K? Because if you do that, you have more probabilities to rank in bigger devices, so in bigger screens. So in other words, I'm talking about the computer, I'm talking about an iPad, and now obviously I'm talking about the television. So if you want to have better chances to rank on these three devices, definitely use a 4K footage. And like I said, I've been able since March, since I started doing this, I've been able to grow my channel in 55% more views than before. So definitely all the changes that I've been doing, they've been working quite well for me at the moment. So if you have any questions, leave in the comments. If you want to know a little bit more about the settings that I use on the GoPro, definitely check the videos that I've done about it because I think you are going to learn a little bit more about this one and uh, you are going to be quite impressed. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Pecky. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.